hi it's Vic welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how I created this slimline shaker card so I'm using the winter stamp set and coordinating dies from uniquely creative and I'm also using the slimline puddles die so that die is specifically made for slimline cards and it's so cute so what I'm doing now I'm just going ahead and popping my images onto my Copic friendly card inking them up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink which you will need if you're using any alcohol markers this stops your ink from bleeding and then I'm going to go ahead and just quickly show you how I coloured up just one of my images Lastly, I'm then going to use a white jelly roll pen and then I'm going to add some little polka dots to his little raincoat and then some little dots to his cheeks. And then I also went ahead and stamped out and coloured a lot more images. So these are all the colours that I've used. You can take a screenshot if you want to use the same colours as me. And then I've also got the coordinating dies. So I'm just going to pop this onto my stamped image. And then just using a bit of washi tape, I'm going to stick this down and then run it through my die cutting machine. So next I have that puddle die I love that die it's so fun so I also have my uniquely creative slimline card and then to die cut my puddle die I've got a piece of plain white card just going to trim this down and run it through my die cutting machine and then I will be ink blending onto that piece but I'm also going to be ink blending onto my actual slimline card itself so for that I've just got my three blender brushes with the colours that I chose and then I've just placed that die on top. I'm just going to gently apply the different colour inks to each of the circles and this is purely so I can see where the ink goes when I'm going to be adding the ink onto my slimline card. I'm also going to be adding the ink to that die cut piece. So the three colours I've got is Distress Oxide in Worn Lipstick, Scattered Straw and Bundled Sage. So I'm just going ahead and adding my ink to my actual card base. You can of course cut another piece of card out if you don't want to do this directly onto your slimline card but it doesn't go through. The uniquely creative cards are really thick so they do take the ink really really well so you don't need to cut out another piece but if you prefer then obviously go ahead. So I'm just finishing up my ink blending, I'm just adding some more pink and then off camera I just went over it again just to brighten the card up a bit more. So if you want the card brighter go ahead and add another layer of ink which is what I've done here. And then next I'm going to be making my shaker part. So I've made quite a few shaker cards but if you haven't made one you will need some acetate. What I'm doing here I'm just adding some double sided tape. This is to hold my acetate down so I'm going to peel this off put the acetate on the back of this and then trim it out with my scissors and then I'll go ahead and start adding my 3D foam pads and my sequins. So I'm going to be adding my 3D foam pads around each of the windows and this is only because I'm using three different colours of sequins. You don't have to do this, you can just put the foam all around the edges and then just have the shaker sequins at the bottom of the card. So now I'm just removing 
all the back piece of my foam tape and then I'm going to be placing the sequins straight onto my card base and then I will apply that die cut piece over the top. This is the easiest way for me to add the sequins because if I do it the other way, if I add the sequins onto my acetate piece and then add my card, I always end up adding it really wonky. <laughs> so <laughs> this is what works best for me, but obviously you do what's best for you. So now I'm just adding these bubble beads and these are really, really sweet little balls, but they literally fly everywhere. So <laughs> I've gone ahead and added some starry sequins into that middle piece. And now I'm just going to go ahead and place this over the top of my card. And this works a lot easier for me doing it this way. So with the slimline puddle die, it also comes with three greetings. So I'm going to be using the thank you. And I love the font on this. It's really pretty. There's also thinking of you and for you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to die cut this out using some black cardstock. And then to adhere this onto my card, I'm going to be using some PVA glue for the greeting. And then I'm just using my normal foam pads for my images. So with the PVA glue, because it's going straight onto the acetate, I will pop an acrylic block over the top just to add a bit of pressure and make sure that that sticks down. And then after a few minutes, I'll remove it. So I'm just adding a couple more little elements to my card. And then that finishes up our slimline shaker card. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.